All right, Lou, we're here for the recording. Uh, ready to go. So what's this I hear about another show you want to talk about aside from uh, Elimination Chamber this weekend? We have New Japan's Battle in the Valley. Welcome to TFS Final West and all stuff. You show podcast this 24-7. Lou and that's... Rick Hard saying, I don't know where that is. It's friendly. All right. I think I cut off a little bit there on my side of it. Can you say it one more time for me? <laughs> I'm saying, I don't know where that echo came from, but I hope it's friendly. Yes. Yes. And that's... The one-man band, and I hope I don't sound choppy. <laughs> 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 oh, Alright folks, let me tell you something From the highest mountain to the lowest valley And everywhere in between, we are the beach of the east The best in the west You are listening to TFS Pod Your girlfriend's favorite show, your pet's favorite show Your friend's favorite show This episode and is dedicated to It's the number one Stop cutting me off on these The line is And it's the number one show of adult film stars This show is dedicated to Alexis Locklear Ooh. Yep. Classic, classic. I love it. You guys are so great. Ah, there it is. There it is. Double L. That's what Lou's going to get this weekend. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> yes, folks, in this episode, we're going to talk about New Japan Pro Wrestling Battle in the Valley with 10 matches. The biggest one, the no- name that we know in there is uh, Mercedes Monet, otherwise known as Sasha Banks to you, WWE Marks. Um, before we get to anything like that, let's get to our scoreboard very quickly. One man band, give us that line that everybody loves. <clears throat> Rick Hard, get the scoreboard. Okay, all right, let's rush through this. We got a lot to cover, and I don't like I don't like thinking about this too much. So let, let's just go through it. Lou, you're in first place. Yes, with. Three points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you got the one man band. Well, actually, no, 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 you don't. Because in second place, to everybody's surprise, it's Bogey with two points. (laughs) And then you've got the one man band with one point. Uno. And everyone else is at zero, including ah. me. Oh, <laughs> I can't say. Board. I Back can't say you. the line anymore. Ah, I know, I know. I can say. Oh, it. I love saying that line, including Ricard. It was zero. <laughs> That's the scoreboard. Back to you, Lou. All right. Yes. Thanks. Uh, by the way, this is a uh, uh, self-inflicted wound. I suggested we cover this one. And I do horrible at New Japan Pro Wrestling prediction shows. I enjoy the shows, by the way, but I do horrible at predictions. So let's get going over here. Let's get let's going. We have 10 matches to go through. Uh, who are the participants over this one? Uh, Rick Hart. All right. We've actually got quite a handful of participants because it's going to be six participants. Here's the order for those of you paying attention and writing this all down. The order is Bogan, Lou. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Lou, you go first. Woman Band, you go second. I go next. Main Event Jeff, Big Al, and the Randomizer, which means Bogey participate. All right, there we are. I'm going from the top to the bottom. Uh, yep, top to the bottom. So we're going to go first match. First match going to be Alex Coughlin versus J.R. Kratos. I'm going to go first in this one. I have no idea who is who from who. Um, as my English teacher would say. Um, here goes a free point. I want to go with uh, J.R. Kratos. That's what I'm going to go with. The, uh, the woman band, you're next. Who do you have? Uh, I think I'm... I think, I think I'm going to go with... Uh, I think it, just because the name sounds cool, yeah, I'm gonna go with Kratos as well. 
Not the God of War one either, but you know, just just yeah, just JR Kratos. <laughs> All right, JR Kratos, writing it down. The uh, Ricard, Ricard, you're next. Who do you have? All right. Well, I did a quick search. Uh, neither one of them has a picture on Wikipedia, so <laughs> definitely pre-show worthy. Uh, I'm gonna go with the swerve and say Alex Coughlin for the win. Put it in the books. Sorry, I'm a big fan of God of War Ragnarok. Just played the game. I actually completed it. Super great story, but uh, I don't think I don't think his cousin's gonna do that well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what does uh, main event Jeff Big Al and the randomizer have the way heal. All right, here come my reinforcements because main event Jeff says Alex Coughlin for the win. Big Al says Alex Coughlin for the win, and the randomizer says. Alex Coughlin for the win. We've got a four to two split. Wow. I'm surprised on this one. All right. All right. All right. Let's go to the next one. Uh, it's going to be another pre show match David Finlay versus Bobby Fish. The woman, man, you go first. Who do you have? This, I feel like this is going to be easy for me. I'm going to go Bobby Fish. Bigger name. All right. Bobby Fish. Uh, Ricard, you're next. Who do you have? I'm going to take a page out of uh, Matt Riddle's book and say, how much fish could Bobby Fish fish if Bobby Fish could catch fish? The answer is he can at least fish out a win on this one. hey ah. Bobby Fish for the win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, uh, yeah, I also, too, I have, I don't know what Bobby Fish is doing in New Japan Wrestling or David Finley, so... I know both of them, but I'm going to go with uh, Bobby Fish on this one. Bobby Fish wins this one. That's my prediction. Ooh. And what does um, Main Event Chef, uh, Big Al, and the Randomizer, what do they have? All right. So Main Event Chef says, David Finley for the win. Big Al says, Bobby Fish. And the Randomizer is going to say, Finley's nephew is going to get the win. David Finley right. for the win. We have a four to two split yet again. Oh, okay, okay. Next matchup we have Mascaradora, Josh Alexander, Adrian Quest, and Rocky Romero versus Kushida, Volador Jr., Kevin Knight, and DKC in an eight man tag team match. Ricard, you go first. Who do you have? This one's tough. This one's tough because you've got. Uh... You got a lot of big names from other other promotions going up against New Japan guys, uh, but this is a New Japan show. Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. I'm very tempted to go with Impact's world champion. And you know what? I think I'm going to go with it. Uh, Masca Dorada, Josh Alexander, Adrian Quest, and Rocky Romero. They're going to get the win. That's my pick. Put it in the books. All right, all right, got that one. Uh, my turn to pick on this one, and I agree with you. Um, I don't know. Anytime you have Josh Alexander there, who's a rising star in uh, Impact, done a lot of things, uh, and I enjoy his work, I want to go with that. So I'm sticking with uh, Mascara Dorada, uh, Josh Alexander, Adrian Quest, Rocky Romero. That's my pick. R the one man band. You're next. Who do you have? I'm going to go with this group simply because of one person in that group. And that one person is Rocky Romero. Um, Rocky Romero has had a very, very successful NJPW career. Um, not to say that Kushida hasn't either, but uh, Rocky Romero has had a much longer tenure and hasn't had a broken tenure. He hasn't had a broken up tenure. It's been consistent. So I think teaming him with Josh Alexander in them makes a lot of sense. Um, I mean, Josh Alexander still is the champ, so makes sense. So I'm going to go with the team of Rocky Romero, Mascara Lara, Josh Alexander, and Adrian Quest. Okay, all right there. And what do we have there from main event, Jeff, Big Al, and the Randomizer? All right, here we go. Main event, Jeff, is going to say... Whew. Oh, Kushida, Volador Jr., 
Kevin Knight and DKC for the win. Then you've got Big Al, who's in agreement with us, saying Mascara Dorada and his crew get the win. And then the randomizer mm -hmm. is going to go Team Kushida. We got a 4-2 to two split again. Ooh. Yeah. All right. All right. I see. Okay. It's going to be a fun night. It's going to be one of those nights. All right. There we go. And let's go to our next match. We're going to have Fred Roser. Roser. I guess we would pronounce it. Versus Kenta. In a singles match for the Strong Open Weight Championship. I go first in this one. The champ is uh, Fred Roser. Um, wow. Kenta's a big name. I know in New Japan. Um. I don't know the pursuit of this title because I always I always like seeing like the storyline behind this to see you know who's getting the push and oh man this is a tough one for me um I want to go with uh, Fred Rosaire to retain that's my prediction uh, Fred Rosaire to retain uh, the one man man you're next who do you have what's the match again I'm sorry. Fred Rosaire versus the champion versus Kenta in a singles match for the strong open weight championship. Uh, Kenta's been back a little while, and I think I think it would make sense. I think it would make sense to, for him to 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 come back. Uh, well, not come back, but like he's already been back, but like gain prominence in getting a title. I, I think Kenta. I'm gonna go with Kenta getting the win. All right, Kenta. And Ricard, you're next. Who do you have? Okay. Uh, so Fred Rosaire, otherwise known as, or rather formerly known as, Darren Young from WWE. Oh, that's who that is. <laughs> <laughs> it pays to do your research, folks. It pays to do your research. He looks like John Cena. He's going up. He's, he's going up against Kenta and... It's tough. It's tough. Champ retains, or do we have, uh, you know, the more homegrown talent win? Uh, Fred Rosaire, from the from the looks of it, has been doing some co stuff along with the National Wrestling Alliance. So he's also in NWA. I think this might be a chance for uh, him to drop the title and give it back to Kenta, or rather, give it to Kenta, who can run with it. So I'm gonna say, because his name is in all caps, Kenta for the win. All right. All right. I'm out. On that one, all right. Let's see how that works. And main event, Jeff, Big Al, and the randomizer. What do they have? Here you go. Main event, Jeff says for Red Rosaire for the win. Okay. Meanwhile, you've got Big Al and the randomizer saying Kenta for the win. We have a forty-two split. Wow! Again. Oh uh, yeah. We're bad. Let's see if the streak goes. This is actually oh man, it's gonna be one of those nights. Let me go one of those nights. All right. Um, next matchup, we have the Motor City Machine Guns, Alex Shelley and Chris Sabin, the champs, versus West Coast Wrecking Crew, Jarrell Nelson and Royce Isaac in a tag team match for the Strong Open Weight Tag Team Championship. In this one, uh, uh, what is it? My, the the one-man band, you go first in this one. Who do you have? So it's Motor City Machine Guns versus West Coast Wrecking Crew? Yes. Okay. Obviously, we know the Motor City Machine Guns are a pretty legendary tag team at this point. Um, I'll be completely honest with you. I do not have a lot of experience with the West Coast Wrecking Crew, if at all. And I think just by that fruition or that attrition, uh, Motor City Machine Guns, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with the safe bet. Okay, the champs retain. Motor City Machine Gun. All right. Um, Ricard, you're next. Who do you have? I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I had the champ lose in the last match. Going to go with champ retains in this match. Motor City Machine Guns for the win. All right. Well, all right, Motor City Machine Gun. And my turn to pick on this one. Uh, I, I live in the East Coast. I don't know anything about the West Coast. Okay, I don't know. What, I don't know what I'm saying there. Anyway, West Coast Wrecking Crew. I'm not familiar with either of them. Maybe name change or something. I'm not familiar with them. 
I didn't get to do my research. I don't have my guy on the inside. It's a long distance call. Um, to call him Japan. So I'm gonna go with Motor City Machine Gun, the name that I know. That's my pick. And what does main event Jeff Big Al and the randomizer? What do they have? Oh, 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 we've already got three people with Motor City Machine Guns. We're gonna get main event Jeff saying Motor City Machine Guns. Oh, okay. And then you've got Big Al saying Motor City Machine Guns. Streak is over. <laughs> oh. Will the randomizer go up for the for the for the for the consensus? Hold Will on, he? hold on. Let me get my no, he won't. Punch. No, he won't because we've got West Coast Wrecking Crew. Oh. From the randomizer. We had a fire to one split. Ah, 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 ah. Wah, wah, wah. Yep, that's the randomizer going solo. Randomizer going solo on that one. A bold pick. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, next matchup we have Jay White versus Eddie Kingston. Rick Hard, you go first in this one. Who do you have? Bro. Oh. I don't know if he's still getting a push. I know he was a big deal last year and a little bit in 2021. Uh, I'm just going to go with, let's say, because you do have someone who's an AEW guy, though. But this is a New Japan Pro Wrestling match. I'm going to say, I say give it to Jay White. Come on, Jay White for the win. Put it in the books. All right, Jay White. My turn to pick on this one. Yeah, this is, I don't think this is that hard. Um, I know I've seen Eddie Kingston on, on AEW. He's okay. I don't know. I don't, it just looks very really sloppy, whatever he's in there. Um, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know what you call that, a brawler or just, I don't know. Just throwing punches out there or whatever. I, I don't know what moves Eddie, Eddie Kingston does, but I have seen the work of Jay White. I've been very impressed with it uh, from last year. From he was, it was uh, on AW and on Impact. Impressed with what he was, what he can do. So yeah, I'm going with Jay White. That's my pick, Jay White. Uh, the one man band. You're next. Who do you have? Uh, Switchblade has been a part of New Japan for a while now. Um, he's been the cornerstone, pretty much one of the cornerstones of New Japan after Kenny Omega left. Mm-hmm. Um, they kind of passed the torch on to him at that point. Um, Eddie Kingston, yeah, been able with AEW for a while now. You know, he's he's got some some moves, but I've never really been a huge Eddie Kingston fan, if I'm quite honest. Um, nothing against him personally. It's just I, I just I'm not ex- I'm not really excited looking watching ma- matches of his. Um, with that said, yeah, Jay White. I'm going to go with Switchblade for the win. All right. All right, Jay White. All right. And now what does, uh, made of it, Jeff, Big Al, and the Randomizer, what do they have? All right. We have, here we go. Main event, Jeff says, Jay White for the win. Big Al says, Jay White for the win. For Jay White. Hold on, I'm going to pop some pants. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go, Lou. You got it? Yeah. You got it? Okay. Well, you're not going to need him because the randomizer says Eddie Kingston for the win. Oh, my God. Final one split yet again. Five to one. Again. <laughs> the, randomizer, the randomizer broke the old streak and is starting a new one. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. All right, let's go to our next matchup. It's going to be Tom Lawler versus Homicide in a filthy rules fight. I do not know what that is, but it sounds filthy, and I better see trash in the ring. Yeah. I don't know. Or, or, or a cleaning maid's outfit. I don't know. One of those two. But um, I go first in this one, and I'm not familiar with Tom Lawler. I'm not familiar with Homicide, but it sounds familiar. Sounds like it is a wrestling name. I'm going to go with Homicide on this one to win this one. No, wait. Yeah, I'm going to go with Homicide to win this one. You don't have a feeling, but anyway. Yeah, Homicide to win this one. That's my pick. Uh, the 
The one man band, you're next. Who do you have? Uh, yeah, I'm going to make this one shorter. So I think Homicide. Homicide is going to be the, the one I'm listening to. All right. And Rick Hart, you're next. Who do you have? Well, Tom Lawler, former UFC guy, in case you're wondering. Uh, That's right. That's very true. Forgot about that. We, uh, we're, we're, we've got a weird kind of match. Filthy, 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 what is it? Filth? Filthy rules ma- fight. Filthy rules fight, which I imagine is supposed to play into uh, Homicide's wheelhouse. So he probably is the one that, that picked this match. It probably means you can play dirty, maybe like low blows or legal, that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know why I'm I see a fork is... being introduced somewhere. A fork. A fork, <laughs> meat forehead. <laughs> You know what? Oh. Yeah, it's probably it's probably just one of those backyard wrestling like uh, extreme rules matches kind of style. Like you're gonna see stuff that me. you're gonna you get light. Oh man! Now with the light tubes, I thought we were past this, folks. <laughs> oh, look! All I know is I'm gonna go with the guy with the actual fighting background. Um, it's probably that he's fighting in out of his out of his comfort zone. It's probably to establish him as a he can be entertaining and not just a Matt guy. So I'm going to say Tom Lawler for the win. Wow. Okay. Thanks for the point. I don't know. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> what does main event Jeff, Big Al, and the randomizer, what do they have? All right. Here we go. Main event Jeff is going to say homicide for the win. Meanwhile, we have Big Al saying Tom Lawler. There you go, Big Al. Join the winning crew. Self high five. Yeah. <laughs> and then you've got the randomizer saying Tom Lawler for the win. We have the 50 50 split. Put wow. it in the book. Boom. But wait, I believe there's more people in your house, but you, you decided to do a self high five. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. 50 50 split on this one. Okay. Okay. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. All right. Let's go to the next matchup. We're going to have Zach Sabre Jr., the champ. Versus Clark Connors in a singles match for the New Japan Pro Wrestling World Television Championship. In this one, the one-man band, you go first. Who do you have? It's which which match again? I'm sorry. It's a uh, Zack Saber Jr. the champion versus Clark Connors. Ah, uh, Zack Saber Jr. All right, Zack Saber Jr. Yeah. And, they... uh, Mm-hmm. And uh, Rick Hart, who do you have? Ha! Huh, this was easy. Look at their Wikipedia pages. Clark Connors, no profile picture. Zack Saber Jr., profile picture. You know who I'm picking? The guy with the profile picture. Zack Saber Jr. retains. Ah. Also, too, I think I think Clark Connors was in one of those matches uh, AW had for the Atlantic Championship, the Mid Atlantic Championship. Or was everyone from different places? There was one guy who was flying around at the beginning. I, mean, I think that's him. You remember that one or no? From last year? From the Forbidden Door, mm-hmm. I believe, match. From uh, pay-per-view. Oh, wait. Oof. Forbidden anyway. Door, that feels like a lifetime ago. Yeah, it does. All right. Uh, I, I'm i going to go with Zack Sabre Jr., the champion to retain. Uh, I'm not familiar only from, I think, who it is. But, um, no, I don't think it's him. It's going to be Zach uh, Sabre Jr. for the win on this one. That's my prediction. All right. And what does main event chef Big Al and the randomizer, what do they have? Here we go. We've got main event chef saying Zach Sabre Jr. for the win. Then you've got Big Al saying Zach Sabre Jr. for the win. Which means that we've also got the randomizer. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's going to take that Sabre Jr. for the win. Yes. We have a good time. Wow. Wow. All right. Got one of those finally on the eighth match. (laughs) Right. Eight (laughs) times the charm. All right. Let's go to the next match. It's going to be Kyrie, the champion, versus Mercedes Monet. In a singles match for the 
IWGP Women's Championship. Ricard, you go first. Who do you have? Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. Yes. I got thrown a softball on this one. I get to go first on a softball. It's pretty obvious. You got the champ who was going to face Mercedes Monet. And I got to say, I'm going to pick Kyrie to get pins because it's going to be time for a new champ. Mercedes Monet. It's going to get the win. Wow. Okay. Mercedes Monet. Mercedes Monet with that's, that one. All right. That's the former Sasha Banks. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, my turn to pick on this one. I believe Kyrie had won the championship in a, pre- in a, in a previous uh, event that we did not cover. It was the beginning of the year. Um, it was, it was kind of early, kind of surprised on us on that one. Surprised me. And uh, we did not go with this, and then that's where Mercedes Monet appeared, and we got we were introduced to her. She didn't have, she didn't have a fight, but she just appeared. So I believe Kyrie had just won the championship. I believe I believe, and then Mercedes Monet came out to challenge her. Either she had won it or she defended. I have trouble remembering that part, but I can say one thing with with this with my pick. You can take it to the bank because it's going to be Mercedes Monet. We'll be the new champion in IWGP Women's Championship. That will be it. That's my pick. Uh, Mercedes Monet. Uh, the woman band, you're next. Who do you have? Uh, it is... I think it is time to crown a new one. Um, you know, it is time It is time to crown a new champ. In this case, Kyrie has had the champ, the title for a while now. Mercedes Monet. Yeah, it's year. been a couple months now. Uh, um, I think they need to capitalize on Mercedes Monet being there. Um, she's a huge jump from from WWE to there, and I, I think it would put a lot of it would put a lot of spotlight on her. So yeah, I'm gonna go with her. I'm gonna go with Mercedes Mercedes Monet being the new champ. All right, good. There we go. Two Mercedes Monet, three Mercedes Monet. Now let's see what the main event, Jeff, Big Al, and the randomizer, what do they have? All right. All right. So, Lou, I'm going to ask you one question. Yeah. You got your pots of pants? Good. Because you're going to need them. Because we got a good time! Every wow. time I do that, my voice my voice dies just a little bit more. Back to back to back. No, it's a two back to back. Sorry. <laughs> it's two back to back. But yes, consensus. Everybody says new champ, Mercedes Monet. Sorry, Kyrie. See you later. All right. So now leading up to our 10th matchup, which we believe will, will be the main event, will be Kazuchika Okada, the champion, versus... <laughs> Hiroshi Tanahashi in a singles match for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. I go first in this one. Why? Didn't I research this more? If I knew I was going to go first. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main question here. Uh, I, why? Didn't I just type it while I was talking? Why? Didn't I do this? So I'm going to go with the current champion. I don't know the struggles of the challenger to try to get the championship. I'm going to say uh, Kazushika Okada will retain. That's my prediction. That's my prediction. Kazushika Okada will retain. That's why I picked uh, the woman band. You're next. What do you have? Um... Tanahashi is um, has been an amazing talent for uh, for New Japan since the mid two thousands. I want to say maybe even the early two thousands. Um, I think Tanahashi is forty five, maybe forty six years old. Um, Okada is thirty three, thirty four, and I think this is Okada's. I want to say it's either his sixth or his seventh reign 
as IWGP champion, Ooh. which is which is a phenomenal feat because you know that IWGP championship don't don't change uh, don't change hands that often. So I think with that said, I think Okada. I think Okada is gonna gonna retain. Um, I think Tanahashi at this point doesn't really need the championship. He's had quite a few reigns of his own. I think if I remember correctly, I think he's had four reigns, maybe five. Um, so, you know, he, he's, he's, um, he's well cemented in the new Japan world. He doesn't need, he doesn't need this Okada being younger. I think he's, he's a, he's an easy flag bearer to post on. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Okada. All right. Okada. And Ricard, you're next. Who do you have? Thank you guys for taking your time uh, doing your picks. Oh. Uh, giving me enough time to research here Steven in the background. Uh, because the day was January 4th, 2023, when Kazuchika Okada regained the IWGP World Championship from Jay White. Correct. In other words, the last month. Which, by that logic, makes me think, eh, that's a little over a month into his reign, not time to take it off of him. So I'm going to say, Kazuchika Okada will retain for the win. That's my pick. Put it in the book. All righty. We got this, we got this one with the open book test, uh, open book rule. Anyway, now who's main event, Jeff? <laughs> Big Al and the randomizer, what do they have? I'm not going to make a comment on that one. Lou, you're the one that decided on that order. <laughs> no. Anyway. No, I did it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you've got main event Jeff saying champ retains Okada for the win. We've got Big Al, who's going to go bold and say Hiroshi Tanahashi for the win. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Maybe he wins the match, but doesn't win the title. Maybe he gets disqualified or something. Yeah. No, I forget this. Vince isn't booking this. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> either way, Big Al says Tanahashi, new champ. And then you've got the randomizer who's going to agree with us and say Kazuchika Okada retains, which means Big Al is going it alone in a 5-1 to one split. It's okay to be wrong sometimes. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. All right, guys. Yeah, it's going to be exciting uh, pay per view. I can't wait to come go to Japan and watch this. Japan, Lou, for the last time, it's taking place on the West Coast in California. Oh, man. I bought the plane tickets. Well, you're going to need to get a refund. Ooh. While you're at it, hand over the title. I'm, I'm customs. 